Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. At the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation, our mission is to provide the advocacy and educational resources needed to the epilepsy community and our society. We are dedicated to removing the stigma associated with epilepsy and help to create opportunities for individuals battling epilepsy. In this presentation, we will discuss what bilateral tonic-clonic seizures are, what happens when someone has a bilateral tonic-clonic seizure, what to do if someone has a bilateral tonic-clonic seizure, and treatments available for bilateral tonic-clonic seizures. Bilateral tonic-clonic seizures start off as focal seizures in one area of the brain. They then spread from one side of the hemisphere to both hemispheres of the brain. There are differences between bilateral tonic-clonic seizures and generalized onset tonic-clonic seizures. Bilateral tonic-clonics start off on one side of the brain as a focal seizure. They then go to other parts of the brain. Brain injury, stroke, and other abnormalities can cause bilateral tonic-clonic seizures. Generalized tonic-clonic seizures start on both sides of the brain. Generalized tonic-clonic seizures are caused normally due to the genetic abnormalities and not due to trauma. Bilateral tonic-clonic seizures start off as focal seizures. The person may appear confused, experience unusual smells or taste, or may feel tingling and numbness. The person then loses consciousness and starts to have a tonic-clonic seizure. The tonic phase includes stiffening of the muscles, resulting in impaired breathing. Clonic activity includes jerky movements. Movements can last on average two to three minutes. If a seizure lasts more than five minutes or continue to repeat, call for medical help. After the seizure ends, the person will slowly begin to regain consciousness. They may appear dazed, confused, and or exhausted. They may be sore, sad, or embarrassed that others witness them have a seizure, so show compassion. Some people become combative when coming out of a seizure, so give them their space as they recover. The person may not remember having a seizure and may experience memory loss from the seizure. If someone has a bilateral tonic-clonic seizure, remember to stay calm. Start timing the seizure. Do not put anything in their mouth. Turn the person on their side. Make sure the area is clear of objects to prevent injury. If the seizure continues for more than five minutes or seizures continue to take place, call 911 for help. Anticonvulsant medication is prescribed to help keep seizure activity under control. Some people need to take rescue medication to prevent the seizures from repeating. Keto diet is another resource for individuals with epilepsy. This is a high fat, low carb diet that is known to help reduce seizure activity. Devices such as a vagus nerve stimulator or responsive neurostimulator can be used for patients with drug resistant epilepsy. To learn more about bilateral tonic-clonic seizures, please check out our resources used in the presentation today. Please like our social media pages and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy.